Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Libra their weekly love read. Libras, this is for the week of November 29th through December 5th. These are general reads, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is just way off, um, you can check your moon or your rising signs. If you don't know what your moon or your rising signs are, there are um, there is a link in the description box below that will tell you how to get to what your moon or rising signs are. There is also a link in the description box below that will take you to my personal website if you are interested in a personal read. Or this is also the last video, um, I think it's going to be the last video for November, that you can like, share, comment, and subscribe um, in order to um, be put in a drawing for a free love read. So please uh, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and it'll put you in a drawing for a free love read um, until the end of this month. Uh, we are also, um, I'm sorry, we're going to do You, Them, and the Connection. Ooh, so You, Them, and the Connection. Um, oh, I'm to totally drawing blank. And then we're going to get an Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card. A Twin Flame Journey message from Mystic, excuse me, Mystic Moon Oracles. And we are going to finish off the reading with a Goddess Love Oracle from Wendy Andrew. I think that's it. Aside from thanking you so much for always coming and watching my videos, guys, I do appreciate all your support. Thank you so very much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you see all those cards flying out? Nice, nice. All right, guys. Um, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the seven, uh, the Ten of Swords. So in traditional tarot, the Ten of Swords is a guy laying on his back, a person laying on their back with Ten Swords stuck in their back. Um, it is an ending to a situation. It is the finality of something. So the Ten of Swords is the overall energy. Well, the devil's underneath there. So perhaps injustice is underneath that. So um, perhaps... You are ending some kind of toxic situation in your life and getting things kind of balanced out. Libra, this is your, your energy here anyway. Or and it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. So something is coming to an end. Does it mean a relationship you're in? No, not necessarily. It could be, you know, a thought process that you're having. Or it could be a relationship. It could be a worry. It could be like a bill gets resolved. Something is coming to an end. But we're talking about love here, so um, my guess is it's probably something emotionally related or a situation regarding love. Um, Libra, you are showing up as the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. So you could potentially be kind of focused a bit on your money right now. But the, the King of Pentacles is a um, stable, grounded, committed, loyal, loving person. Very kind of um, even-keeled laid back, a provider, someone that's going to take care of business, someone that you can count on. So this is what you're showing up as, as the king of pentacles. Um, three of pentacles is like you're willing to be a teammate and put in the teamwork. You want to build something. You want a situation to build, but you're juggling something. Um, so I'm going to pull a card on what you're juggling. Sometimes we can juggle um, like a work situation versus our love situation. We could juggle two people in love. We could be juggling our, our mind over our heart, right? So there's lots of things that we could be juggling in a situation. But I feel like, Libra, you're really showing up as a solid, stable person, um, definitely committed, loyal, looking for a long-term commitment, willing to put the work in. But you're juggling. What are you juggling? Yeah, yeah. So um, when I'm clarifying the two of pentacles, we have the ten of wands, which is like putting down burdens, the five of cups, which is um, um, like, uh, I'm, I'm just losing my words right now. It's like um, figuring out a way to kind of win at all costs, like um, competition, conflict, conflict you're kind of stressing out. Um, and then the six of wands is moving away from something, moving on to calmer waters. So I feel like, um, the juggling could be, honestly, I get a vibe of like an overthinking situation. Um, you're juggling like your stress and your worry and contemplating what to do with that. I mean, I guess you could be juggling, like, should I stay or should I go? 
Maybe you're juggling that. Should I leave and move on to calmer waters because I'm feeling stressed out and really burdened? Um, so potentially you could be leaving, right? So potentially you could be leaving a situation, which uh, you could be leaving a codependent situation. Um, interestingly enough, your person is showing up as the Six of Swords. So they're moving on to calmer water. So perhaps, um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I guess perhaps this could be the you're, a situation you're currently involved in. I'm not really feeling like that. I feel like your person is moving on from a situation because their person they were interested in had too many options and there was a lot of lies in deception or, you know what? That could be it. Okay. So I have like two thought processes here. So perhaps your person, perhaps you're juggling whether you should leave your person um, and your person showing up as someone that's going to move on to calmer waters, potentially has a lot of options and is lying and deceiving. Um, so perhaps, Libra, you could be contemplating moving on from your person because they're lying, they're deceiving you, they have lots of options, or they're just making everything confusing and they're contemplating walking away too. So either um, that's happening to your person and they're thinking about leaving that situation or that's how they're presenting towards you. The connection between the two of you looks really good. So my thought is um my thought is that you both have kind of endured some heartaches and heart you know heartaches and um lies and deceptions and and you both had to move on to calmer waters in certain situations um because your connection is the sun, which is like the most positive card in the deck, happiness, joy, optimism, right? Could potentially mean a baby. The page of cups, um, this is a love offer. This is a, um, could be a proposal, could be a, um, like a, a date, could be some nice messages, could be good conversations about um, how they care about you and love you. Um, and then we have the wheel of fortune, which is like shifting into good karma. So I feel like whatever you're putting down, whatever you're kind of ending, will propel you into this wheel of fortune with you and your person. It will be a positive, optimistic connection in love. Um, this could potentially be an apology. So maybe your person, maybe your person is contemplating leaving and might have some options, and maybe it was lied, and you're like, what the f? But you're this label, this, oh my gosh, you're this loyal and consistent and committed person. And maybe you'll accept their apology and have this true happiness. Or maybe your person has endured all that craziness and so have you. And when you come together, it's just going to be love and happiness. Um, after this shift, like your char your karma, your karma is going to shift. So um, you're used to dealing with total, I'm trying to think of a nice word, total jerks um, of people and your karma is going to shift into this positive, positive situation. So I don't know. You tell me, Libra, I'm getting two different stories. I'm getting one that you're going to end the current situation you're in to, to lead you to happiness. Um, and then I'm getting that you two are kind of both coming into this situation or both have a lot of baggage from your past and you're moving on to calmer waters together and to, to this wonderfulness so let's see if the oracle cards kind of give us any further clarification. Um, the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card for Libra. Because there's definite endings here. Moving on to calmer water. Juggling. Lies, deceptions. Options. So what's coming for Libra? Girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enabled boundaries. Well, that goes along with the one theory I have, yeah? And mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect the old wounds. Or relationships affect, reflect our wounds, introspection. Yes, so I think um, I think those are the two options, right? Like you're both coming in with very similar backgrounds and mirroring each other. Or you are in an empath, narcissist paradigm. And uh, it's a crap situation that you're going to end and get out of, right? Going to end this toxic garbage I hope it's not that one Libra I hope you've already ended that kind of nonsense and that card just slipped out from twin flame journey message from mystic moon oracle it says the grass wasn't greener on the other side 
pardon my French, but my this phrase just popped into my head and I know one specific Libra will get it, but uh, no shit, Dick Tracy. <laughs> and um, if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Yeah. So, um, interesting, Libra. You're going to have to tell me what this means to you. All uh, right. And you don't have to write it in the messages below if I know you. Come tell me because I want to know what this means. All right. Calmness. Let things settle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, Libra, this could go either way. Like, honestly, I feel like the cards support both. Um, actually the cards kind of back up both scenarios. I really do hope it's the, of the one where, um, you know, you're juggling your past feelings. Your person is coming out of a conflictual situation or did recently come out of a conflictual situation before they met you. Um, and things are shifting for the both of you to be this happiness, love, optimistic, joyful situation. Um, but I don't know. Um, all right, Libra, um, I hope you enjoyed this read. Again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you do all four of those things, I'll put you in a drawing for a free read until the end of November. Um, I think that's it, guys. Until next time, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.